Let's look at e to the i pi. This is e to the power of i pi over n raised to the nth power. For large n, e to the i pi over n is approximated by 1 plus i pi over n multiplied by the natural log of e. This natural log is 1, so that term vanishes. And let's plot this on the complex plane. As n increases, the powers of 1 plus i pi over n, well, they approximately wrap halfway around the unit circle and coincides with minus 1. That's Euler's formula. We can say that... It reflects the geometric interpretation of complex numbers as points on the Euclidean plane. And multiplication adds the angles that the numbers make with the real line. And i represents a unit vector orthogonal to the real line. So e to the i t rotates at constant distance from the origin at unit speed. I'll leave you to decide if that's beautiful, but that's what it captures.